It's time to bark at the moon, everyone. Weera, the wild child, is here. Both the queen of winter and harbinger of hounds, she is quite possibly one of the most in-depth mods out there right now, while still remaining true to herself through it all. From a plethora of winter-related perks to her quest for doggy dominion, Weera is certainly one to stand out among the pack. However, nothing makes that more true than our control over her configuration options here. For you see, Weera can speak over 20 languages, her entire class can be switched essentially, rates can be adjusted, additional perks can be toggled on and off, diets can be flipped on their heads, you name it. No, seriously, this character has the most configuration options I have ever seen, so your experience can and will vary dramatically, and that's a good thing. Play your way. But for us here today, we will try to stick to most of the default settings while still highlighting the additional mechanics that seemed appropriate to me, so I turned them on. For now though, the stats of course. Weera sits at 120 hunger, 120 sanity, and 175 health respectively. So below average for sure. But, she can eat and heal just like most others, so there's not too much to worry about here. Especially when she won't be the only one involved in fights from time to time. Weera here spawns in with two hound plushies that when dropped on the ground, will call forth a named, beefier hound follower to do her bidding. And yes, there's even a chance for said hounds to be a special variant as well. More hound plushies can be crafted via the material scene here, however word of warning, only three of these plush hounds can exist at one time at the end of the day. Still, that is not to say that Weera herself is limited to only three hound friends. Oh no 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 no. All hounds in the game are not only neutral, they can be fed to become followers themselves. Wild hounds are unlimited, so take advantage of that whenever you can, as it's actually more important than you might think. For you see, the more hounds Weera recruits, the faster she gets. But, don't expect anything to be too swift here, unless of course you've tuned things up in the configuration menus, but a little boost is still noticeable. To continue on the hound trip though, Weera also spawns with something called a lucky whistle. And this thing allows for her to instantly recruit up to five wild hounds in the surrounding area at the cost of some lower initial loyalty timers. Blow the whistle a couple more times though and that timer actually goes up and it makes the hounds howl too, which is a fun touch. Now by default, she cannot craft any more whistles, but I myself would switch that, as as you can see, the craft itself is costly enough. But even if all of that is not enough to convince you of her stellar hound habits, note that she can also create more hound mounds if you let her, and she can calm riled hounds down with a hotkey as well. Useful, especially if your trained hounds are among some wild ones. But one last thing here. Killing hounds will result in a loss of 10 sanity each time, so be mindful there. So alright then, there's her quote unquote harbinger of hound side, but what about her quote unquote queen of winter nonsense? Well, what if I told you that Weera froze slower than others, took less damage from the cold than others, healed when it's snowing, and plenty more? Is that enough? But Weera takes a heck of a long time to even start freezing over others as you can see, and when she even starts, she won't lose health nearly as fast as any of the others, which is a huge plus. That, and the fact that her lowest temperature possible is only minus 5 degrees, so she can get back to normal faster. But this mechanic here is even more interesting, as it's actually dynamic. In short, the colder she gets, the more insulated she becomes, therefore her temperature will drop slower over time. Interesting stuff. All configurable too, of course. Thing is though, contrary to what one might think after all this, she doesn't actually overheat faster than others at the end of the day. That said, I'm pretty sure she's supposed to after looking at the menus, and this is just done broken currently, so be aware of that. Oh, and her cold resistance also doesn't extend to any ice attacks either, so make note, she's still going to be freezing the same as all the rest of them, and I'm also not quite sure if this was intentional or not. 
She will lose less sanity during the dusk and evening portions of the day, though, but only when she is colder. The colder she is, the less of the drain becomes, of course. It's not much, and is really only noticeable come total darkness. However, it is configurable, and the modders have said that this particular perk was quite wonky to get right anyways, so there's that. But here's a perk that does work, and is one of my favorites of all time. Wira heals in snowstorms. Highly configurable, as you can imagine. The mechanic can be made to restore one health every 30 seconds of snowfall, if you wish. And I really enjoy that. Cool stuff. Oh, but we ain't quite done yet. For you see, Wira also speeds up in the cold and is actually faster than when she's tamed a couple hounds, as you can see. Put both together and she'll be zooming across the wintry plain in no time. Enjoy. And then take a nap once you're done zooming too. Weira can craft an ice den via twigs, grass, and ice that will certainly help keep her warm if needed, as sleeping within one, even during the daytime, will raise temperatures to decent levels. However, the only way an ice den will actually heal us is if we're really beaten up. For you see, they are not tense and will only heal health and sanity to 25% of their maximums. Still, a few strategically placed can certainly help her navigate winter a little better, and interestingly enough, these dens will actually regen their durability in the cold, and even more so during snowfall. Neat stuff. Well, unless it's hot out there, of course. As, as you could have guessed, it's the exact opposite, if that's true. But they can be repaired with ice if needed. Now, they're certainly not the best structures out there, but they ain't the worst either. So I guess the choice is yours. Oh, but before I forget, to prevent herself from melting come the summer heat, Wira can automatically unequip any chilled amulet that is in use at that time, only to be able to then refuel them with nightmare fuel, folks. Very nice. Configurable, too. But to start wrapping up our day here, let's fire through some of her other perks and nonsense, like how Wira escaped Charlie once before joining the others, so she actually knows a thing or two about dodging her come complete darkness just like Winona. Wira is also not a monster by default, however she's essentially a hound by nature, so I myself would actually consider turning that on instead. And oh yeah, she can swim. No biggie, right? Also tied to a hotkey, Wira can swim forever, it seems, at the cost of high wetness over time, obviously. However, the further she gets from shore, the slower said swimming will become. And oh boy, it definitely gets slow. Still, who doesn't love a little doggy paddle now and then? But of course, the last two pieces of the puzzle, her ghost and her voice. Now, I turned it up all I could, and it's still kinda soft, so I apologize for that. And in the event that you still can't hear it, just pretend that she sounds like a barking dog, because at the end of the day, that is exactly what she sounds like. But there you have it, everyone. Weira, the wild child, the herald of howls, the winter royal, whatever the heck her title is. Now, she's certainly shaping up to be one of the better characters around, especially when we have so much dang control over what type of character she can be. So I'm really hoping we keep an eye on this one. Many thanks to Furry Eskimo, Miz, and Monty for all their hard work over the past couple years needed to bring Wera to us, and thanks for watching, folks. Well, wishes to ya. Happy holidays, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.